Hi guys, welcome to Authentic Drummer. Thanks again for watching. This is part two of our salsa series here. Um, part one, we uh, talked a little bit about uh, what to play uh, in the verse of a song using um, a clave on the snare drum, cascada on the hi-hat, and we've got bombo bass drum going on. All right, so I'm gonna just continue a little bit on part one and just show you another couple of variations you can do. Um, if you want to get fancy. And it really depends on who's in the band. If you're missing a timbali player and it's just you and a conga player, then you can start to do some of these, um, these patterns because um, you, you know, you're not stepping on anyone's toes, okay? Um, the first pattern we're gonna look at, and there's a PDF attached to this, so make sure you check this out. The first pattern we're gonna look at is the cascada again, but we're gonna look at a full cascada. Now, what I mean by that is that timbali player would normally play the cascada with his uh, right hand on, on the timbali, or the left hand. Um, but um, and then his left hand or the other hand would fill the gaps. And what I mean by that is that it's just sort of literally playing in every spot that the right hand is not playing. All right, I'm going to play this on the hi-hat for you and you can sort of see what I mean. The right hand sort of does all the main accents and all it creates the main pattern. Left hand literally just fills the sound out, okay? Um, so this is what this would sound like. This is a full cascada pattern, uh, both hands. Here we go. One, two, three. Okay, so that is very, very cool on its own, and you can do that with the bass drum part as well. The only issue there is that you're now missing the clave part that was kind of dictating um, a, lot of the, a lot of the groove there on the, on the snare. So um, an option, and this is not for everybody, but for some people you might want to tackle this, I've got a little cowbell down here um, attached to a pedal. Um, and so I'm going to play the clave. I'm going to try and keep my hi-hat closed with part of my foot. And you can see on the foot cam how this works. And I'm going to use my, the rest of my foot here to play the clave. And so that means that I've got both hands to be able to play the cascada up here on the, um, on the hi-hat, okay? So uh, let's show you what that would sound like. This is the next one. And I'm going to, uh, the next uh, thing on your PDF. And I'm also going to add our bass drum part as well. All right? One, two, three, four. Okay, and you can see sometimes I was adding a little a little uh, roll in there as well. That's just all little embellishments that I've seen timbali players do, um, and you can sort of add them you know, little inflections. Once you know, once you're really comfortable with the pattern, you can start to do that stuff. Okay, now I'm going to show you one other pattern you can do. It involves the left foot clave as well. Um, um, I'm going to turn the snares off here, and what we're going to play is a very simple back and forth um, pattern on the, on the, on the snare, but a timbali player would, would sometimes do. If he didn't want to do the full cascada, he could just do this, this pattern here. And basically it's um, two on the rim and then four on the drum. So one, two, three, four. Like that. So we're gonna play the left foot clave, we're gonna play that on the snare, we're gonna play the bass drum part as we normally had, and the cascada this time, instead of being on the hi-hat, I'm gonna play on the side of my floor tom, so a bit of variation. And it's the closest thing to being like a timbali, okay? So some, I've seen a lot, of, a, a lot of salsa drummers do this, okay? Um, cool, what I'll do is I'll get, the, um, I'll get the pattern going and we'll show you what it sounds like. One, two, one, two, three, four. Okay, so there we have uh, kind of a, it's a little bit one man band, like I said in the first, uh, you know, before. So it's pretty, uh, pretty intense, but, and sometimes it's not very applicable, you know, sometimes it's just too much. But if you're feeling like you want to take it the extra step and, you know, it's great for your coordination and your practice. So, um, yeah, see what you think. All right, so make sure you check out part three of the video uh, of this series. We're going to talk about the chorus and what to do in the chorus. Okay, see you soon.